The Top 10 Causes of Dementia Dementia is a multifactorial disorder that is caused by both genetic and environmental factors. There are two types of risk factors for dementia, non-modifiable and modifiable. Non-modifiable risk factors 1. Age. Advancing age is the primary risk factor for dementia. After age 65, the risk of dementia doubles every five years of aging. Substantial evidence is that aging is one of the leading independent risk factors for dementia. Globally the number of people with age-related dementia is rapidly increasing, thus, age is a non-modifiable risk factor for dementia. 2. Genetic factors. A range of risk genes is connected to the risk of dementia. The apolipoprotein E gene is a risk gene with the highest impact. Modifiable risk factors. 3. Hypertension. Hypertension in midlife, not late life, increases the risk of dementia. Long-standing hypertension destroys brain matter and is associated with cognitive impairment. Strict blood pressure control, particularly during sleep, has a neuroprotective effect. Higher pulse pressure is associated with an increased risk for dementia in the elderly and is suggested to be caused by arterial stiffness and severe atherosclerosis. Poor cerebral perfusion may explain the association between lower pulse pressure and increased risk for dementia. Although it is well known that hypertension impairs cognition, one of the important questions that have not yet been resolved relates to the timing of blood pressure elevation and cognitive deterioration. Longitudinal studies spanning decades revealed that individuals who develop dementia have a history of high blood pressure earlier in life. The effect is independent of other cardiovascular risk factors or comorbidities and is observed in both men and women. On the one hand, cross-sectional studies revealed that individuals with dementia have lower blood pressure, challenging the involvement of hypertension. The onset of dementia is preceded by a drop in blood pressure in women with hypertension, an effect that is associated with the decline in body mass index. The reasons for the decline in blood pressure are yet unknown. Still, the data highlight the significance of precise blood pressure monitoring in the treatment of hypertensive patients who are at risk for cognitive dysfunction. Hypertension in both the middle and late stages of life corresponds with vascular dementia. 4. Diabetes. Evidence shows that dementia is increased on average between 50 to 100 percent for subjects with diabetes compared to subjects without diabetes. The prevalence of diabetes and dementia has grown compared to rises in the average life expectancy. There is a great deal of hope that figuring out the relationship between the two illnesses may solve the mystery of dementia's pathophysiology. According to earlier research, type 2 diabetes raises the likelihood of developing vascular dementia and generalized dementia. These estimations, however, might not have necessarily considered the overlap in dementia pathology or the conflicting mortality risk. While it seems intuitive that diabetes and vascular illness are related, it is becoming clear that type 2 diabetes is also linked to smaller brain volumes and a faster rate of brain shrinkage, seemingly unrelated to its relationship with cerebrovascular disease. This suggests that tau pathology, particularly in neurodegeneration, may be caused by type 2 diabetes. 5. Overweight and obesity. In midlife and late life, overweight and obesity are linked to dementia. This finding requires further investigations into the cross-sectionality between how body mass index relates to brain health and dementia risk. The endocrine function of adipose tissue, governed by adipose tissue hormones and adipokins, could provide a clue. The mechanisms that underlie the relationship with dementia, if high body mass index and central adiposity, imply an increase in adipose tissue. 6. Smoking. The higher the amount of smoking, the greater the risk of developing dementia. Cessation decreases the risk of developing dementia to similar levels as never smokers. Smoking may upset the equilibrium between producing and removing free radicals and oxidants. Oxidative stress is brought on by the overabundance of oxidants and free radical species that result in oxidative stress, OS. Increased oxidative stress aids in developing dementia indicating neurofibrillary tangles and senile plaque. 
Additionally, smoking-related OS has been theorized as an underlying mechanism for cardiovascular disease, and CVD contributes to an elevated risk of dementia. As a result, a higher risk of dementia due to smoking may be realized through CVD. 7. Alcohol consumption. The evidence between alcohol consumption and the risk of dementia is sparser, near guard, 2017. People who currently and previously consumed a lot of alcohol had lower global cognitive functions. Heavy drinking is linked to numerous brain disorders. Heavy drinking can also result in alcohol-related brain damage in various ways. The direct neurotoxic effects of ethanol, and its metabolite acetaldehyde, cause irreversible structural and functional brain damage. Due to its links to cardiovascular risk factors and conditions like high blood pressure, ischemic heart disease, cardiomyopathy, atrial fibrillation, and stroke, heavy alcohol use is indirectly linked to vascular dementia. 8. Education. Education has an inverse relationship with dementia. A high level of education is associated with a healthier lifestyle, which is assumed to explain the lowered risk of dementia. According to Professor Francisca S. Then, education, measured in years, significantly lowers the risk of developing dementia. In particular, the results show that attaining a post-secondary degree or having completed more than 10 years of school is a crucial threshold to considerably lower dementia risk. 9. Nutrition. Diets rich in saturated fat and cholesterol increase the risk of dementia. Polyunsaturated fatty acid and fish consumption might be protective. Poor nutrition early in life is strongly associated with a high risk of dementia in later life. 10. Depression. Depression later in life increases the risk of dementia, and the causality has been questioned. The use of antidepressants is not shown to be a protective factor against dementia. Dementia risk is two to five times higher in people who have depression. An increasing amount of evidence points to depression as both a risk factor and a prodrome of dementia. This observation was further supported by a logical neuropathy investigation that showed that dementia patients with a lifetime history of depression had higher hippocampal plaque and tangle formation. GG Care was created to help older adults and people with dementia enjoy aging in place. GG Care harnesses Amazon Alexa's voice assistant technology to create a virtual dementia care companion to help complete tasks. Our technology initiates digital interventions directly with the users to support their everyday activities through interactive voice reminders. GG Care offers a wide range of digital interventions, such as reminders to stay socially connected, listen to music, and perform chair exercises. The carer schedules the time and frequency of the digital interventions and adds a few hints to help the user complete the task. When a voice task is scheduled, the GG Care skill gently guides the user with a series of questions and prompts. If the user needs additional assistance completing a task, Alexa can provide helpful hints set by the carer. Visit GG Care's website to learn more by going to gg.care.